So as you know already, man's got two properties in it. This one here is a three bed house. Um, I've got one about a 15 minute drive away, which is a one bed flat. So this three bed house, my mum's aware of it. She's been up here. But that was before man done all the refurbishments and that. And since I bought the flat, my mum ain't been up to Northampton to see this house after it's been refurbished and she definitely ain't seen the flat. Man showing her pictures and that, but it's all well and good man's mum seeing pictures and that, but man need man's mum to come up here and see the thing in person, innit? So man's completed the flat basically. Just need to uh, fit the wardrobes and chest of drawers and that. Do all the soft furnishing, but the property basically done. Only problem is, I'm gonna have someone, a uh, couple people move into the flat soon once I get people in. Well, if I've got people living there, how's my mum gonna go in their room and get me check out the flat? You know, see what I've done in it. So I thought to myself, you know what, time is running out. I need to go down to the ends and bring my mum back up here, show her around, and then take her down in it before I get some people in. So I said, you know what. The time is now, innit? I can't waste no more time in here. So man's gone down to the ends, gone to my mum's yard, and I was down there for about four days, innit? And yeah, I just decided to bring her up one day and show my properties and that. Done no. I'm just at home right now, innit? I'm in Edmonton. And let's just define what home means to me. You see this house in Edmonton that I grew up in? It will forever be home, innit? You see Northampton? That's just my yard. That's just where I'm chilling. Temporary accommodation. This place here, forever home, innit? See the family photos, them? Me, my little brother, my little sister. I don't know. Ah, my Twix. Let me take that. You know what black people are like, innit? You put down food and it just disappears and that. So this is the sofa. This is also my bed. So when I'm down here for a few nights on the weekend, man crash here, innit? See what mom's cooking. Get me. Got to pattern up the gal then. All my things got my name tattooed on them. Ton no. Uh, how did you guys um, curry come out? Yeah, it was alright still. I'm gonna zip up now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Heading out now. Remember that flag in it. Done no. Alright, so we're gonna start our journey now. It's like 70 miles, you know. From Edmonton to my yard up here is 70 miles. So it's an hour and a half journey. But first of all, I need to stop off at the jet petrol station on Bouncers Road to top up some fuel. Subscribe so always see all my videos are just sitting in the yard and that and you know, what sitting down making videos and that. Sometimes it's just nice for man to just watch me just out just doing normal stuff. Instead of just bound to a chair. No, I think for a minute. Did that guy even see us? Or see me?
the head to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine having some technical difficulty. In the ends, get me. Man used to go to that kebab shop there all the time. That was man's number one spot. Man used to frequent there on the regs. <laughs> man's all had beef outside there before, innit? Right, and imagine, yeah, you see the shop here that I'm in now, yeah? Man actually wired some lights in the butcher's section. I'm gonna show you right now. So like, see these lights here, yeah? The dome looking lights, yeah? Man actually wired all of these lights in this shop. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Get me. So like I've spoken about this a couple of times in the past, isn't it? Like next to that kebab shop that man used to frequent that, that mini market was under construction. And I was selling some habitat lights, isn't it? So um, man's gone into the kebab shop and spoke to the owner who is in charge of the renovations of this mini market next door, innit? And I told him, yeah, boom, man's selling these lights, innit? Like, what are you saying, innit? Anyway, the same night that I went in there to selling the lights. Uh, one of my cousins was turning 30 so man had a birthday party to go to innit? but man come to a crossroads didn't it and it was an easy decision to make either on one hand a man goes out and socializes or on the other hand a man goes out and makes 250 300 pound in one night well i already know which one i'm gonna do in it yeah man will always pick making money over socializing Sorry, brother. Yeah, man, gotta make money. So that's what I did. Innit? I didn't go to a cousin's birthday party and socialize and that. Man went out and made money. Innit? Like, this is what separates the successful people from non successful people. Innit? The successful people will pick making money over socializing and that. But anyway, yeah, so that mattress was four years old. Yeah, so I only had it for four years, but I didn't sleep on it continuously for four years anyway. So, boom, we're on the road now. Uh, me and mum having a conversation about mattresses and bedding and that. And um, I told her that <laughs> Nadia has bought, man, two pillows for £70, you know. That was man's Christmas present. Like, who even does that? Like, who spends £70 on two pillows and that? Mad woman. But I think, I think they're worth the money, innit? Me, I don't mind sleeping on some fucking dead mattress and uh, some dead pillows and that, and that. man's <laughs> you get me bidding enough please souls and that to you get me be used to some shit bedding and that and it, so i i don't care and it man will stick to my little cheap 10 pound pillows and that but she weren't rating them so she bought for me for christmas she bought me uh two pillows for 70 pound and i think that's 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 way too much in it but yeah each to their own in it but yeah nadia but you know what you know they bought for christmas some pillows yeah guess how much she's going on the but don't say anything bad. Guess how much you spend on the pillows? Two pillows, you know. Twenty pounds. Seventy pounds. For a pillow or for, for two, two pillows? Man, I don't care if it was ten pillows. I'm not spending seventy pounds on them. But they're good though. You know that proper duck down type of um, material stuff. What 
thought for herself or for you? Oh, she pulled it for me. Yeah. So, boom, after an hour and a half journey, touchdown, man's finally here, innit? My child got me recording him. Planning to come to my yard, you best be planning your own funeral at the same time. You can believe that. <laughs> Follow me, yeah? Take off one trainer, boom, have one. Oh, yeah, I'll take the camera. Take the bus off me. No, but don't, that's what's, don't, 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 don't. Man, stuttering all over the place. Put your foot on the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Trust me. I don't know what to do this woman, you know. She's come in the yard, it's small, it's cold, she's laughing at my towel that I've got in front of the door as a letterbox. There's just no impressing some people in it. So what I've done in the house is um, I've done the tiling on the floor. The old cupboards used to be ivory. Now ivory, see I don't know if you can see this. This isn't white, it's like a creamy colour, but ivory yeah. is almost like yellow. So they used to be like an ivory yellow in colour. Um, instead of changing the carcasses, so the carcass is the actual units itself, so I just changed the doors and that because I don't believe in throwing away a good kitchen and that when all you need to do is change the doors. It cost me to change all the doors, so here and the drawers and that. I think it cost me like £600 or something. Um, I haven't changed the worktop yet, but I'm going to, but that will only cost me about £200. But if someone came in to price up this to redo the kitchen, that would all cost me all three, four grand. For what? All you need to do is change the doors and that. So I don't believe in throwing away things that is good for no reason. That would waste the damn money. Um, yeah. See, so put a couple spotlights in. I still need to paint the ceiling and that. On the carpet. It may seem smaller than what I thought it was, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure the last time it seemed bigger. Or maybe because. The whole house or something? Well, the downstairs, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this table weren't here last time, innit? The yeah. The table's up against the film. Put new curtains in. Mm. Yeah, obviously, there's no living room. The infamous no living room. <laughs> Man got an empty, empty room in there. Obviously got the same curtains there, or there. Yeah, it's basically, obviously it's not a big, big house in it, but obviously for one man, ah, yeah. it's like a, a mini mansion, isn't it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Follow me around here quickly, because that toilet downstairs ain't got a handle on it. This is the handle that I use. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to get access to the toilet downstairs. So you get a couple shots of that Jamaican flag. Oh yes, the Jamaican flag. Of back, course. Back, back, we have back, we back, have back, a, back we yeah. have to get the Jamaican flag in, of course, mm. man. Done though. Alright, I'm gonna bust the store for a minute. Yeah, good. So basically, see that light up there, yeah? That light there was actually from the flat. 
Yeah, so anyway, that light there is from, from the flat, so I wasn't going to throw it away. I actually was using it in the flat, but I had a dimmer switch that didn't work properly, so instead of throwing it away, I thought, you know what, let me bring it here. So I'm going to save myself £30. And then, yeah, these tiles are actually from the flat as well. It's excess, extra tiles that I had. Where the fit? So I decided to use it on the on the wall here, innit, because obviously you need the tiles to put behind the um, sink, because this sink's brand new, like I haven't even taken off the plastic yet. Toilet. The toilet's the old toilet. Hmm. But I just cleaned it, but this is a new system. Oh, go on. oh the carpet's nice mm. on the stairs. Oh, yeah, let me show you upstairs. Yeah, see, I've done all the carpet on my own. It's my spare key. I've done all the carpet on my own. Oh, what I did was, so I can't remember when Nadia bought this for me, but just get a yeah, midifier. No, 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 diffuser. No, like, even if I was different, isn't it? that diffuser. I can't remember when she bought it, but anyway. Um, yeah. Obviously, I wanted it near the stairs, innit? So I took out the carpet, ran the cable underneath, plugged it in here, okay. and then I fitted a, um, what do you call it? A shelf, innit? Mm, yeah, I see. So this is my bedroom. It's already empty. Jeez. That's how I like it, huh? <laughs> That's okay. about it. <laughs> Man ain't got no um like these are the chest of drawers and that that I bought for the property um when I was renovating and that innit. Bathroom. Okay. Oh, did you put these towels down? No, no, no. These this is the original bathroom for when I got the house. So bruh, you know what? February No, I'm the, talking about on the floor. Yeah, no, no, what I was just gonna explain is February the I think 28th or something like that, or no, not 28th, like the 20 something, it's going to be five years since I had this property, you know. But this is the original tiles on the wall and the, and the floor and that for when I got the property. All I did was the other day, to get a shot of this, I fitted this new bar screen. Okay. Because the other one, you know this trim thing at the bottom, yeah? Yeah. That was, um, oh, well, I don't even know, I think it came off of the other one. So anyway, the water used to just run and leak out. Um, yeah, so to fit a new one. This is kind of like my junk room slash laundry room. I'm going to steal my laundry and that. Yeah, that's literally shoe rack and that. Ain't got much trainers on there, but the rest of them are. Okay, where'd you get this shoe rack? Oh, that's nice. I think B&M or somewhere like that. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. This is what I call a rat room, innit? But yes, it's another junk room. Got all my clothes and that. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> the, the wardrobe doors don't shut properly. The magnets on them don't work, so. Yeah, this is. I feel like my house is a flipping builder's depot, innit? Got pipe, got tiles, got carpet, got kitchen units, got tools, got electrical testers, got lights, got door handles and that. So. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's about it. So, yeah, I'm not at yours, man. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, I love the layout of the house, man. Obviously, it's small, isn't it, but... Yeah, no, no, I like the layout. layout. I yeah. love the layout of the house, yeah. If I can have this, but bigger, yeah. Mm. yeah. Obviously, there's other layouts of houses that I do like. No, yeah, I do like, like the hallway. I just... Like... No, it gives it character, not like how mine. Mine's just boring. Mm. There's no character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, that's 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 basically it. Look at my mum. My mum's all big 50 year old dressing like young gal, you know, all puff a bomber jacket. Yeah, I know. When <laughs> I was 40, he was telling me I should dress like a 40 year old. Yeah, no, no, no. So what does a 40 year old dress like? But he couldn't tell me. Yeah, no, no. I changed my mind on that though. Because uh, there's certain people are like they like they they're thirty but they look like they're forty five and that so it's just due to the way people them dress in it. Yeah, mum's always look mad young for her age and like you can't see her face in this video because mum's one of them COVID mask people. She don't leave the house without a mask on in it so yeah that's why you can't see her face. But yeah, mum looks mad young for her age and you never know, never think say that this woman is fifty years old. Yeah, but yeah anyway, boom, that's it. That's it for the for the house. Trust me. I mean, the best, the best feature of the house is the 
Do you know what I mean? Jamaican flag. flag. No, no. Hey, listen, you see the one that I showed you at my mum's house? Yeah, my mum got that idea from me, innit? Tell him, tell him, tell him I'm lying, mum. No, he's lying. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah. He gave me the Jamaican flag. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah come on, we got to represent, innit? Yeah. That time when that build, um, the boiler man come to the door, innit? I was standing right over there talking to him. And I'm giving him the uh, shoe covers, innit? And I said to him, I looked back and I said, what? Is this your flag? He said, yeah, of course. I said, yeah, done, man. Oh yeah, that's that towel, isn't it? I ain't got a letterbox. I ain't had a letterbox for like almost a year and a half, two years. So I put a towel there to block out the the cold air and that. Next destination, the flat. Mom's not in the way, is it? No. What would you in your freaking hood? What? You tell me nothing. Boom, white the flat now. Sure. To be fair, it's kind of warm anyway. So down here. Do you not want me to turn my train on? No, 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 no. No, they're following me, following me. Keep the door back hard, innit? Yeah, so obviously the floor downstairs, I've covered it. Yeah. Um, and obviously the carpet. But up here, nothing's covered. Oh, I like this carpet. It's yeah. like what I'm sure this is what euro has got in his room. Yeah, so this is basically called Houston Steel, yeah? Mm. Um, yeah, it's nice. To be fair, I bought the wrong colour carpet. Why? What's wrong with it? I didn't want this colour, but in the shop it looked different. Mm -hmm. No, it's nice. Yeah, it might look nice, but it's not what I, I wanted originally, in it? So. Well, what kind of colour did you want? Well, it had to be kind of greyish, innit? So like this. Nah, I prefer this one. Yeah. This That one looks more beige. No, it's grey, it's grey. So, this used to be the living room. Okay. But now... <laughs> Obviously, the red, red, red. Oh, so, so see, this used to be the living room, innit? But now it's gonna be a bedroom. Um, so it's gonna be a really big bedroom. The only issue is the fuse box and that is here. Mm. So um, if there's any emergencies or whatever, innit? Uh, then someone's gonna have to enter someone's room. Mm. But, I mean, the likelihood of something tripping out or whatever is gonna be low. So um, yeah, like one person in this bedroom here. Start with this other bedroom. This, is, this was the original bedroom. Oh, so I see what you put that there. That is kind of dangerous not having that one. Yeah, hmm. So this this is um this was the original bedroom. I think the walls were white as well and that. Hmm. Um, yeah, what I've done is these curtains, I've just kept them continuous throughout the flat. So mm -hmm. um, that big bedroom there, there and this one here. The mattress there. Bought a new Henry Hoover and that. Changed all the sockets to the new chrome. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. I've got, oh, yeah, I've got an LED strip around there as well, you know. Okay. Uh, what's the remote control? Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, my, yeah. So what I did was I fitted, um, I put, this is not actually skirting board, I don't even know what it is, I can't remember what it is, but it's not skirting board, it's like supposed to be like some kind of cladding. So anyway, I put the cladding there and it's got a gap. Yeah, I could see it, yeah. yeah. Fit the LEDs in the gap. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the towels look nice. Yeah, so yeah, that mm. towel that I had in the toilet downstairs at my house mm. is from this batch of towels. Mm. I've got a lot of spares. I've got like four boxes out there. I bought too much. So the towels that's up here are also downstairs in it. So the towels that are up here, 
get downstairs as you walk in downstairs. Mm -hmm. I have to buy a new fridge. Yeah, I'll see, there's nothing in there at the moment. So there's more, it's a fridge freezer. Mm -hmm. There's more fridge than there is freezer. It's a small mm -hmm. freezer. That milk's probably gone off now. So yeah, I'll get some new milk. Uh, this is the original hob. It's a gas hob. Uh, the original electric oven, yeah, electric oven. I like the work surface as well. Yeah, so this has just got like a plastic, like a, a adhesive cover on it. So they basically, whoever had the property first, them people, they put like a, a contact paper. Yeah, yeah, like contact. a sticky paper in it. Yeah, put, contact yeah, paper. Yeah, so I don't know what colour it was underneath, but they covered it. And then yeah. this is a brand new washing machine. <laughs> So basically, the whole kitchen is the original kitchen. I've just cleaned it up. Mm. I like that blind. Yeah, so it's called a day and night blind, isn't it? So it's nice. What, did you buy that, yeah? Yeah, I bought it, yeah. Oh, it's nice. So at one point, you can see outside. Obviously, it's different because it's dark outside, but if it was light, you yeah. can see in it. Mm. And then, if it's during the day or at night time, if you want to black it out, then you do that. Mm. And then if you want to... Um, let light in or see outside and do that. So they're called day and night, but like they're cheap. 20, 30 pounds. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, you have to be careful when you buy it from. I bought one from um, B and Q, and the edges. No, not B and Q. This one is from B and Q. The original one I bought was from Dunnell, and that's where I got the curtains from for here and the curtains from from my yard. Mm. And it freight. Yeah, it's like the fray at the end. Like, yeah, like, at the edges, yeah. Okay. Yeah, show sure you the bathroom now. Yeah, I saw them towels, I like them. Yeah, everyone, everyone does. And, oh, they're nice. Yeah, so... Yeah, if you turn off these lights here... Turn off that kitchen light here. So, if I turn on this light here... See the LEDs? Mm. Like proper movie like light. LED, yeah, yeah, trust me, trust me. But yeah, I like I like tiles really, really nice. I like them. Yeah. So yeah, um nice. Yeah, the, the modules up there. There's a separate module up there and a separate one behind this. To get to it will be really difficult, but you're not supposed to put sockets in the bathroom. Mm. But there's a reg that says exposed live parts or dangerous parts. As long as it's not accessible. So anyway, it's behind this stuff here, which is called cladding. Yeah, cladding is what you use for the back garden, where you walk on the wood stuff. Yeah. But anyway, there's some some kind of boxing in behind there, which is screwed to some wood paneling, and then I put the cladding on top of that. And then um, yeah, basically I've done this so I can gain access to underneath the the bath panel at any time. So. This shower screen is it exactly the same as the shower screen that obviously I got at the flat in it um, at my house. Mm. I've just covered it because I don't want it to get damaged. Yeah, Did so, you yeah. do the tiles on there? I've done the whole bathroom. No, mum, no tradesmen have come in here apart from me. Mm. No, nobody. Tile by tile, I've built this bathroom from the ground up. Stepping oh, I like in. These. I've got like, oh, yeah, tiles are not expensive, you know, for like a because these are ceramic, yeah. Yeah, they're nice. It's about 13 pounds for the box, and it might be eight in the box. So, so the, what made you do a different one there? I don't know, I was just on Instagram or some, something like that, and I just saw like, um, you know, like feature walls. Okay. Or I was watching something, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Mm. I'm gonna do a feature wall. where where the shower head is, I'm gonna do a feature wall, isn't it? So that's, mm. that's what I did, isn't it? Obviously, some of the stuff I've covered up a lot of the things, so I don't want it to get damaged. Yeah. That's why there's all that plastic in there. Um, yeah, I need to come here one day and have a little test shower, make sure it works. Mm. But yeah, it all works in that plumbing and that. I've done everything. Everything. I had to redo the plumbing in here, put a brand new toilet in, fit the toilet, put the sink in, everything. Literally. Yeah, but yeah, I do like these. These are nice. Yeah. What do you prefer? The floor? The wall? Or actually the, the feature wall? Which one do you prefer? Well, I'm not a fan of that feature. Well, maybe because it is um, different to, to there. Mm, maybe mm. it looks a bit odd. Yeah, yeah. But, no, I do. Look, I love them tiles and I like the floor. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I like the tiles on the wall. They're all right, but I don't really yeah. rate them too, too tough. No, they're nice. Yeah. 
Very nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. New light. So what I did was um they they used to have a pool cord, didn't it? Like the pool cord was up there. Yeah. So I said I hate the idea of having pool cords yeah. and stuff, in it? So oh, I, I rewired it, ran a new cable from that light along this wall down here and then draw straight through. So the entry point is on the other side of the wall here. So I draw straight through and, and put a light switch there, yeah. Is. And then what I did as well is I put um there was always a socket there in it. So this is actually one back box behind, but it has two separate compartments, one for the socket and one for the light switch, rather than putting two separate together in it. So yeah, that's that's what I've done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and obviously, so one switch controls the main light, and the other one controls the LED. So LED okay. and then main light all separate. So yeah, that's 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 basically it. I just wanted to bring my mum down to Northampton and show her my property and that. Well, properties. Yeah. Yeah. No, my son's done well. Very proud of him. Yeah. Because. At the end of the day, yeah, like a lot of mums and that are proud of their sons, but no disrespect to them, but what is there to be proud of? There's a lot of women, I think, there's a lot of mums, they're proud of their sons by default. But what are their sons done? What are their sons achieved to be proud of? I think some mums are just proud of their sons because they're living, or they're six foot, or they've got two or three youths and that. Nah, men for do things for your mum to be proud of. It's not about showing off to other family members or friends and that, but your mum should be able to go to sleep at night being proud of their son for something genuine, not just a man's alive. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A man didn't grow up in Pekka where it's an achievement to make it past 21. I do, yeah. which is sad. Yeah, 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 literally. I was watching one thing with one guy, his name's Bobby, he does like one like, podcast thing on YouTube, mm. and he said they're about 20, he's about 38 or something like that. So yeah, 20 man dead. 20 of his brethren or people he knows is dead from this area. So, yeah. But yeah, mums are just proud of their, their sons by default. Sons don't do nothing, man. They ain't achieved nothing and they're proud. Yeah, obviously, there was a time where I was on the wrong path. My mum probably wasn't proud of me, but you know, I've turned that around. Didn't it? So, if you're on the wrong path now or have been in the past, you can turn it around and make your mum proud. Proud of something for real, not just proud of a man living or existing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Stay wise, don't know. I bet when I watch that thing about my head.